Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Persona Q. I'm the Musical Gamer, and you are now being treated to the sounds of the madness of my own mind. Oh, if I have to listen to this again. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. We're back. Let's take a look at this janitor's closet. This time, I say we're more prepared. I have put Yosuke and Yukari in my party, who resist wind, which these stupid mages seem to love to use. There are three enemies. And they're also weak to fire, right? Yes. They're weak to fire. Uh, I also gave Yosuke a fire-based persona. I gave him back uh, Huapo. So I'm glad I kept her around for now, because we're going to need the fire skills uh, in order to deal with this. I think we're much better prepared this time. And hopefully I don't get my ass handed to me. So here's here's hoping. Uh, let's go over with a Masuku, Mas, blah, 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 Masuku Kaja. How about an English class? I could definitely use that. Maragi. Um... I'm wondering, yeah, you know, I just just go all out, Agalau, do it. Uh, Yukari doesn't really have much to speak of, but she can heal, which is good. Uh, Hailstorm might be nice. We're actually gonna try to put them to sleep. Maybe we can do something there, and another Maragi. Oh, good, we're knocking them down. So Chie is still gonna get hit. Oh, God, not the corrosion. Haha, they're asleep. Screw you, you bastards! Can we actually kill them like this? Oh my god. This was literally just a case of... I needed more people with fire personas. That's, that's, that's really all it was. I mean, Junpei, yeah, he could use fire skills. But he wasn't that helpful at it. I mean, for the most part... Uh, who do we get rid of? I guess we get rid of Orochi? Yeah, get rid of Orochi. He had a, he had his, like, fire slash move. But other than that, he, he really wasn't able to contribute that much. Maragi is much better. I love the, the multi-attacking moves, especially in this game. Because it doesn't really seem like there's much of a penalty for using them. Say, like, in the other Personas. I'll give you my bean cake. I'll give you my dumpling. Just please don't eat me! You okay? Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, it's just a shadow. Hey. Sure, they they kicked my ass last time, but we we came back with a vengeance. All right, so we found some oil. Let's go fix that door. What's this? What use what a can of floor wax? Mhm. Mm okay. Is that really gonna um. work? Slippery slipping. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. Sure. Okay, that was anticlimactic. <sighs> Gee, you're just like, this is the worst possible thing that could happen. Sure, let's go take care of the door. I pray to God that nothing's going to happen. Oh, good. It's open. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, why do you sound disappointed? That's a pity. What do you mean this isn't fun? Was this supposed to be fun? Yeah, we're not here to have fun. We are here to do a job, goddammit. Oh my god. Uh. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, no! No! Mommy, I don't want to! What the hell? What's going on? Oh, the lights are out. What do you mean I'm surrounded? Surrounded by what? By giggles? Demon giggles? Oh my god, look at the map. Oh my god, look at the map. Okay, this is the sound of my nightmares. Everybody's just losing it. Oh my god, this is not the time, Yukiko. This is not the time. Oh my god. Uh, I don't blame you. Uh, <laughs> Make it to- No! Mm. I refuse! Mm. In any case, the request is probably complete. Let's go report this. While I go call my therapist. Alright, Elizabeth. This better be good. 
This better have been worth the traumatization that I've just had to endure. Is that so? I see. So it caused a supernatural phenomenon to occur. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Please send my regards to Yukiko. By the way, this isn't quite the same story, but I do know of a ghost sort. I don't want to hear it. I, I really, I really don't want to hear it. No, you please stop. Just please stop. Understood. There are things in this world that you're better off not knowing. So now. Thanks. Twin sheets. I'm sure some here are like, oh no, you should have listened. I'm like, no. Just no. My heart. I get scared at the simplest things. Just don't. Just don't make me. You can't make me. No requests. Okay. That's all done. I think I might keep this party. I think I'll switch up Yosuke's persona, but other than that, I think we'll stick with this group. I don't feel like changing. I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Uh, Unicorn? I don't know. Maybe Anubis. Uh, you're close-ish to learning Yomi Return, which could be nice. Nah, but getting a level 32, it's gonna take you to learn that. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, just equip Anubis. Sun Circle, Summon Ghost, fine. Maybe you can benefit from it, I don't know. I suppose actually one thing we can do is we can try to fuse some of these personas. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, we, we have a couple of like fodder per personas in here. Uh, no, normal spread, thank you. Who can we get? Okuni Nushi. I don't think we have him. Might not be a bad idea. Uh, Virtue. Which just might be nice to lead to other personas. Because we're level 38. We can, like, start getting some real good personas here. Like, Okuni Nushi is very tempting. Cornucopia. Higher rate of ramage. Well, I don't really care about that. Uh, lots of HP. Electric boost. This would be, like, the gr like a great persona for Kanji. If I put it with electric boost? Hmm. Do we want to go that route, though? Or do we want to actually try to go for virtue? Some light magic. Um, decent split of skills. It can learn Mabufu. It almost feels like blasphemy not taking the higher level persona, but I think I will take virtue. Give him Mabufu. This'll be fine. This will be totally fine, because actually maybe we could turn around and fuse you into something different. Like Gorgon. Gorgon seems like fun. Or Orthrus. Can you learn? No, you can't learn any of the ice moves both of these personas know. That is kind of a shame. Though I guess it's to be expected. I could go for Okuni Nushi up over here as well. Uh, one thing I will do, however, before we actually go any further here, is I will register the personas we have, because it's probably a good idea. Now, some of you might be wondering why I try to stick away from, why, why I don't really go triangle spread. It's just because, I don't know, I, I find, like, the personas you can get from this are super powerful, but usually, I'm always dealing with personas I have that are around my level anyway. I mean, Virtue Queen Mab, and... Unicorn would be great to get Kahulan, but we're not the right level. Like, the personas I would love to get from this are way too high level. I mean, there's Dominion, but I don't want to use Fortuna. Not really. Dominion is a persona I would actually prefer to use in the field rather than for um, special abilities. Plus, Alleys of Light is such a good ability that I would really like to be able to fuse that onto somebody. So that's that's why I usually stick away from like uh, triangle and sometimes even sacrifice spreads. I like I like normal spreads. They're simple, they're easy, they get the job done and you can kind of learn what to expect from them. Gorgon might be nice. Ah, you do get Hmm. I could teach you Mabufu and Zionga with you two. That doesn't seem like a bad move. Sure, let's go with it. Mabufu, Zionga, Gorgon, you're probably a bit better than 
uh, virtue would have been anyway. Who else? We do still have Huapo, who we can use for something. Thoth? Mezuki? Too high level, uh, but Gabriel would have been would be cool. Diorama and a holy touch. Heavy bash attack. Yeah, we're gonna start getting into the realm of really strong personas, I'm I'm feeling. But I'm okay with what we've done so far. We've we've used some of these personas. We now have uh, a decent amalgamation. Uh, keep you with White Rider. Anubis, you're cool and all, but I think I'd rather Yosuke have possibly Gorgon. Yeah, you know what? Take Gorgon. You can use him. Uh, Yukari, do I still want you to keep using Succubus? Do I really care? I don't think so. I might have you start using Anubis or something. Uh, no, you know what? Succubus is still better. Oh, actually. Hold the phone. Uh, switch with Yukigo. That'd probably be better. Yukiko, you take Succubus. What's restoring touch do? Natural recovery speed from status damage. Okay, so it's it's not to do with actual healing moves. I mean, Diorama's not going to help, but everything else, you know, is, is going to be good for you. And that is just going to be a better persona overall for Yukari. I think I'm yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this party for a little while. Okay, so with that in mind, let us actually head back to the labyrinth. We'll explore a little bit more this episode. Maybe we'll actually get somewhere. Who knows? We did t we did take a quick peek at what this floor is going to be like. So let's just let's just keep going. I'm gonna I'm gonna get through this place as quickly as I can. I I do not like this spooky place. Too spooky for me. Ooh, hello. Shadows, and I'm missing data. New enemies. I'm on you, leader. Uh, Rainy Brother twos. No idea what they're going to be weak to. We're going to find out. You're weak to wind. Do it. Uh, throw ice. Throw electricity. Throw fire. And I don't want you to do to just attack. Because I don't know what these things are going to be weak to. We're going to find out. Ah! Good old zappy zap. Fine. Can we? Oh! Alright, go for it. Rain blades on them! Wow! Okay! That was pretty effective. They have quite a bit of HP. You have Megiddo active. I would suggest you use it. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be painful for them. Right, I'll keep using that as well. Um, I think we're gonna be okay. So just attack. Yeah, look at look at that damage. That is exactly what I was hoping to see. Huh? Over so soon? All right, those things have quite a bit of HP. Over. Good job, everyone. I'm a little surprised at how much HP those things have, but they didn't really get a chance to do anything, so I don't know what they're going to be, what their effectiveness at uh, attacking me is going to be like. What's this way? Ooh. Look over there, a power spot. Hello, power spot. Let me mark you on my trusty, dusty map. All right, what do we got here? Rip schedules. Oh no, check it. Ooh, ripped emblem. Oh god. Oh, oh, will you stop? Oh god, two, three in a row. What are the chances I'm gonna get a ripped emblem? Oh wow, apparently pretty decent. Oh my god, four, should I go for four? Holy crap, game. Thank you. <laughs> You didn't make me struggle eternally for it. I appreciate that. 
Do you think there might be something here? Let's check it out. Oh. Okay, what is this? A strip of red paper and a strip of blue paper. Okay. Huh? The hell? Is this some kind of sick field day event? No. -uh. Of course not. It's more mm. like those horror stories where you t where you have to pull one of them to survive. If I remember the horror story you're talking about, you're stained with blood if you pull the red paper. And if you pull the blue one, you're drained of blood, leaving you blue with blood loss. Oh my god, that's horrific. Crap! <laughs> Crap is right! Talk about a no-win situation. What should we do? Try tie- Try tying them together? Uh, sure. Unorthodox. But why not? So what now? <sighs> Nothing. We should get going. No reason to stand right here. Really? I... Okay. I, I guess I did nothing. Oops. <laughs> uh, I might have just, like, wasted an event, but oh well. I, I thought maybe the unorthodox option would be the right one. Well, let's see what's through door number two down over here at this end of the hall. We know this is probably... Uh, what? Why is it dark? Hmm. Yeah, um, I can't see. Hmm. Alright, Sato, we must take even more caution here. Yeah, I, I can't see for crap. Oh my god, what? I saw that blood dripping. Don't think I didn't see that. Game. I don't, I don't know what to do or where I'm going. Okay, um... Here's one way. Ooh, door over here. Hold the phone. Once we actually get the map filled out, then this navigating this place isn't going to be any much of an issue. Another door. And a walkway over here. Uh, right. So, what's through this door? More darkness. I hate darkness. Oh my god, where am I going? Like, I see the blue appearing on the map and I'm trying to follow it, but... This is, this is just, this is just confusing. A, a door. Okay, what's through this door? Ooh, hello, treasure. Ooh, a treasure chest. Come on, let's crack it open. Uh, we will, just give me a goddamn second. There, what's in it? Action vest, ooh, nice. That actually reminds me, we, we picked up the, the twin vests, which I believe is for Zen and Ray, or twin whatever it is. Twin sheets. A uh, pair of twin sized white sheets, hide inside and become ghosts. Sure. Sounds fantastic. What is this action vest that we picked up? Uh, combat vest combining flexibility with endurance. Really? We also don't have you with anything. Greatly raise hit rate. Of negating fire damage. Uh, actually, I think you need that, don't you, Chie? <laughs> I think you're weak to fire. Uh, so I should probably give that to you. Meanwhile, do we give... I think we do give Chie the, uh, the action, the action vest. Seems like the, the safest bet over here. Now, I know that there's a pathway over here, but I want to double back. Because this door is kind of in the middle of nowhere. So what is behind it? It looks like there's something oh! in this area. What the hell? Piece of paper on the ground. Uh, wasn't, I was not expecting that. I'm be... Oh no. What? No, 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 no. Do, <laughs> do we. God damn it. I leave this for you to decide, viewers. Do we turn around or do we not turn around? I'm calling it here. And I'm calling my therapist. <laughs> thank you all for watching. And one quick note before we go big shout out and thank you to Dorindal NB for becoming my newest patron on Patreon. Thank you. 
you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated, and uh, I love you. <laughs> I love you. I don't love this, though. So, next time, when we come back, we'll either turn around or not turn around. We'll see what happens. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.